Hey guys, what's up? It's Henry Appleseed, and I'm making a quick video um, with my OnePlus X again, this time on a tripod, so maybe better quality. Uh, just holding out for uh, more quality videos in the future. But today I'm going to be upgrading the RAM on my 2008 8 core Mac Pro. And uh, I'm going to be doing a review on the actual Mac Pro and how it performs in modern day tasks and uh, what the value is of uh, the machines nowadays. Uh, but right now I'm going to be upgrading the RAM with these two 4 gig sticks right here. I just got them in the mail. Um, they're DDR2 ECC RAM. You need to make sure if you have one of these machines that you have uh, ECC RAM. These take DDR2 ECC RAM up to 800 megahertz. They're just some HP uh, RAM that I pulled off Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. But you can basically find it everywhere. It is super cheap. And that's one of the reasons I'm going to be doing my video. Is because if you want a powerful Mac on a budget, the 2008 and 2006 Mac Pros are right in that sweet spot where they're going dirt cheap for raw horsepower. And it's just awesome what these computers can do. But before we can do anything, we need to upgrade the RAM. Currently, this uh, computer has five gigabytes of RAM. Uh, that's what the computer registers um, and what it can actually use because it came with four gigabytes of RAM and um, I had a one gig stick and a 512 uh, gigabyte megabyte stick um, laying around that I threw in it just for a time. And so anyone knows how to take the RAM out of this. It's super simple. These are the RAM risers right here, and there's two of them with four slots on each card. So as you can see here, we have two uh, one gig sticks and one 512 and one one gigabyte stick right there. And so um, you need two sticks for dual channel or else they won't recognize. So that's something that's really important. Make sure you don't buy one stick of RAM. Make sure you buy two, um, adding up to your desired uh, configuration, I guess. And so these just pop out like any old uh, RAM slots. Let's put them down right here. And so as you can see, I have two dual channel on the same card. These are two one gigabytes, and there's another two uh, one gigabyte sticks down there. So we'll just throw this RAM in here. I actually haven't even checked this yet. I literally just opened it. And so we're going to stick it in here. Make sure it fits. Cross your fingers. Boom. Right there. Okay, that's a good sign. Um, I was really worrying because even though this RAM was so cheap and that's why I got it, uh, the reviews on Amazon had some conflicting uh, reviews. Uh, where people said that they weren't marked correctly or they weren't the same as the listing. But my best guess is they bought it uh, for their personal desktops and didn't realize that it's ECC RAM, uh, error, error correcting RAM used in servers. So that's something really important that you need to make sure you get is ECC RAM. Um, and so, yeah, upgrade done pretty easy. Let's just slide it back in here. Slot it in, and let's close it up. Boom, all done. Okay, so we're all hooked up. We're hooked up to two DVI monitors. Um, and so let's just click the power button and see if it boots. Okay. I really don't think there could be anything wrong with this machine. Um, if the RAM doesn't work, well, then I'm just screwed. But it, since it was only $10, you know, there's nothing I can really complain about. Okay, so now that we're all booted up, let's just go over to About This Mac. Oops. And there we go. Two quad-core 2.8 gigahertz 
uh, Xeon processors and 12 gigabytes of 667 megahertz DDR2 RAM. So as you can see right there, we did this successfully, nothing wrong, no surprises, just RAM. Um, if we click on memory right here, you can see I have two new 4 gig um, chips in there and then four um, one gigabyte sticks. And if I choose to, I can put in the two uh, extra sticks that I have in these available sp uh, spots right there. But honestly, it wouldn't really give me any advantage because it'd only be about one gigabyte recognized by the computer because it rounds down to the uh, lowest dim in the slot, which would be the 512. And 12 gigabytes of RAM is perfectly fine on a machine like this. But this really shows the potential for $10, you can buy 8 gigabytes of RAM, and you can really spec this thing out. You can, um, by default, this can run up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is all of them filled up with 4 gigabytes DIMMs. So you would only be paying about $40 for 32 gigabytes of RAM, which I think is a crazy deal. And so yeah, DDR2 RAM is extremely affordable and you can really top out your Mac Pro if you so feel. So yeah, that's been my video you guys. Make sure to like it if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe down below to see more upcoming videos that I hope to be making in the future. And so yeah, see you guys later.